Well, this is my Hurricane Nicole day at Dollywood. The tropical storm, tropical depression, whatever it is now, Nicole made landfall. I think yesterday morning in Florida is already up here. Yeah, we got it's supposed to rain all day, but the great thing about Dollywood is that if you enjoy shows, you can still have a great time, even if it's a total washout for rides. That's why I was riding so much the last two days. That's just another thing that makes this park so great is that you don't have to have great weather to have a great time here. And this day, it actually could work in my favor in a lot of ways because there may not be as many people here to watch shows, even though a lot of the shows are indoors, out of the rain. Maybe a much smaller crowd even for shows. And they may even run some rides because there's no lightning. I saw Thunderhead testing. I imagine it probably could run in the rain as long as there's no lightning around. Wild Eagle, I was told, definitely can. I'm guessing lightning rod probably cannot. I would be very surprised if it can. And I'm in here extra early today. I left the hotel at my normal time and far less traffic getting to the park today. They're testing. I can't believe they're actually gonna try to run it. It's a pretty moderate rainfall. I'll ride it one time. Accelerated forward motion, right and left turns, and a quick deceleration. Finally, if you're gonna take lightning rod for a spin, by riding lightning rod in a hurricane. Doesn't get better than that. See, even with it raining, there's still plenty of people riding. Now they are running one train, and that makes sense because there's not gonna be as many people riding because of the rain. Smaller crowd at the park, fewer people wanting to ride. But I've done uh, four rounds, two in the front row. Front row stings a bit. It's like needles hitting your face. But it was so worth it. It's a light rain left over from Hurricane Nicole. We're on the outer edges of the tropical storm. And this is just plain rain. So everything's operational. If you're willing to endure it, and even even in the early morning even though normally morning rides are not the best because of the rain it is hauling that might be as strong as i've ever felt lightning rod if you've ridden coasters enough you know that they usually ride better in the rain especially the wood coasters although this is not even 50 percent wood anymore but still still rides better in the rain i think if you come to dollywood during smoky mountain christmas you have to see the show they have a lot of great shows here. This is definitely one you cannot miss. That's tough riding this in the rain in the front row. And this is the station. I think that on that night, God was reaching out to all people. The poor and the wealthy, the simple, the wise, the powerless and the powerful. On that Christmas, the world was made equal before this, God's greatest gift to us. The wise men brought gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I don't think they bought anything. I bet they did. I bet it was something so simple that no one ever wrote about. But they had to know that they received God's gift to them. They had to know. They wanted to get something back. I'm sure they did, Sarah. I'm sure they did. Start 
going to the top of the tree now? No, let's leave it in see until we find our answer. I know we will. Give us the light to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Sorry, buddy, I don't have anything for you. My last day at Dollywood has come to a close. That's always difficult. Could have got a lot more rides on Lightning Rod today, but I was wanting to check out the shows. I was marathoning Lightning Rod the last two days so, so that I could have this day for shows. They put on such great shows here, and they got great rides, and it's a great setting. It's just like the most perfect park imaginable. I know some people who say they like Silver Dollar City more than this. I mean, as far as if you talk about top two coasters, okay, Silver Dollar City overall has that beat. I think Lightning Rod is better than Outlaw Run. I did say that last year. I'm saying that this year. I'm coming back to it. I will say I was, I wouldn't say I was wrong, but that was an unusual thing last year. Lightning Rod was not riding very good at all, but this visit it was better than ever look at silver dollar city they got outlaw run and time traveler as a top two i don't know what you would put as number two here thunderhead wild eagle but those are not in time traveler territory there so as far as a top two goes all right but overall coaster collection this has silver dollar city beat the depth here there are like seven coasters here that i could just ride over and over again I mean, you got something like Dragonflyer that is one of the best family coasters that you can find anywhere, and it's, I would put it number seven in the park. And then you add to that the shows, the setting. Of course, Silver Dollar City's got a great setting, but the operations here are better. The shows here are better. Even look at a day like today when it was raining most of the day, yet the rides were operational all day. I said it three years ago when I came here that this was my number one park that I've ever been to and it really wasn't close at all. It's even more not close now. I still stand by it. This is the best park I have been to. My visits in 2020 and 2021 were not quite as good as 2019, but I would still say it was even those, it was my favorite park I've ever been to. This visit was even better than 2019. I think I missed Santa. The Twas the Night Before Christmas show got out about 9.03 or so. That is a really great show. I think that might actually be the best show here. Because it's like a legitimate play. It's not just music. I wish that everybody could have a hurricane experience at Dollywood like I had today. This was just like the most perfect day with the short lines able to get into shows real easy you don't have to wait in lines to get into shows you just show up last second you can get a good seat the rides were open even even though we were in the middle of a hurricane the remnants of a hurricane the only bad part about dollywood and this is like my the literally the only bad thing about the park is 
the exiting procedure, you are routed way all the way down to the front gate and then all the way back around this upper level. It is a long, long, very long drive to get out of the parking lot. And maybe that does help with congestion, getting out. But boy, it's tedious. <laughs>